telling his partner already. There's some guys with cameras coming. One more behind you, bro. <coughs> for no reason. Sucks how you gotta treat everybody like a criminal. Kids ID. Don't ask him for his name and last name. Stay away from the car. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Step back. Hey, don't touch him. You're welcome. Step back up here. You guys need to back up about 10 feet and you can film all you want. Okay? Just back up about 10 feet, gentlemen. Because you're a little too close and you're filming the car and you're interfering with the investigation. So you're free to film. Listen to me. You're free to film. You're too close to this. I'm asking you to step back about 10 feet and then you can film all you'd like. Okay? Is that reasonable, sir? That is reasonable. That's more than reasonable. That's absolutely reasonable. Thank you very much, gentlemen. That wasn't an issue before then. You don't answer questions, huh? Like transparency, yes, sir. I do. That's why I'm letting you film over there. That's absolutely the way things should go. But why, why is it from here to there is a big difference, sir? Because you're a little too That's close in here. Man. But now, when you first got here, huh? Now, when you first got here? Yeah, when I first got here, too. You just had to build up the courage, or what? I can't hear you. You had to build up your courage to tell us something, or what was it? <laughs> Have a nice night, guys. You know, passengers, people that weren't driving, they treat everybody like criminals, I guess. Sucks. Even the cameraman. Yep. They even treat the cameraman like criminals. Sucks, huh? Yeah.
If you weren't driving, you don't need to talk to the police. Now you're interfering. I'm narrating to my camera. Okay, well, you don't need to narrate your camera and basically communicate with them. I ain't communicating with them. So let them I'm speaking into my camera. If they want to listen, that's on them. I have no, I have no fucking control over that. All I said was, you're welcome. I ain't assisting you. But you're not. I'm here not to assisting give you, advice. buddy. I'm not assisting you, buddy. We're not here to get your advice. I ain't, so I ain't welcome, giving you advice. You're welcome to I'm film. I'm narrating it to my camera, so just leave me alone. You're welcome to film. Do not leave interfere me alone. Leave, leave me alone. It's interfering. No, it isn't. It is interfering. You're interfering with me. It Stop interfering with my recording. I don't believe you're involved Roger. in official government duty, so it's man. not really interfering. I'm trying not to now. We already moved back like you asked us. And, we and I appreciate back. that. You came back for more action. No, I'm not coming back for more attention. action. I'm simply trying to let them do I'm their job. I'm going to go ahead and de-escalate this and ask you to step away, sir. Well, you can ask whatever you want, but I'm asking you to not interfere so we can finish what we're doing. And these, and these young men can get on their way in a timely manner. I'm not here to interfere with you. You're making this about you, sir. You don't care about timely manner. You're on camera. You're making this about you. Just leave me alone. Leave us alone. We're just here to document this. That's it. You guys are harassing a couple minors. I don't think he's requesting anything to respond to the press corner. They're not going to find nothing. They're just wasting their time. Harassing the public, harassing the cameraman. Pretending like they like transparency, but they don't. They don't. As soon as we got, he got here, he was okay with us recording. But as soon as we started getting close to the car, it was an issue now all of a sudden. He wants to make good citizens part of the system and not in a good way. people in South Los Angeles get treated when they get pulled over. Three units, supervisor shows up, minor being held in handcuffs, everybody getting ID'd. Great job, LAPD. Vernon and Western, bro. That's the next one. Location. It might possibly have a master burger. Uh, on the just south of uh, where you have the huge part of it. Wilshire and Vernon. They're all taking three
They're not going to find us. That's how it always goes. They just like to harass the public and treat them like they're criminals. And at the end, they send them on their way and try to thank them for cooperating. When really, they just got the right to violate it. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why, huh? Yeah. Probably because they're always helping the community. That's probably why they're terrorists. So they're helping them get into the system. Is that that? Yeah. I hope when your kids are getting pulled over and your grandkids get treated like this or worse. Oh, yeah. I agree to that. Notice that it's always like a, a cop's kid that ends up on the news doing something dumb. Yeah. Oh, they can't find him. Desperate, huh? Yeah. They really want to hem him up for something. Desperate housewives, right here. <laughs> Dang. Successful, huh? Name your badge number, Sergeant. 3111. What's your name, Sergeant? Richardson. All right. 4111 Richardson. Is this Sergeant's name and badge number? Was that correct, sir? Yep. All right. Richardson, huh? Richardson trying to come in and walk her down the closet there. The document team is the scene. I'm about to move with Tim. He's going to arrest me for butt hurt in public. Is that down? Yeah. It's going to be the first time. He's facing us, but his head is facing that way. Is that down? Yeah. He's trying to act like he's here. Yeah. It's cool, huh? I wonder how this guy stands when he doesn't have his weapons on. You think he stands with his hands on his hip or what? Is that down? Yeah. 
They're so used to holding their, to holding themselves. If, when they don't have the belt on, they just put their hands on their head. Yeah. Or they have big neck shirts because they hold on to the neck. Is that right? <laughs> And these guys probably didn't get the memo that these guys need consent to search, huh? They need written consent to search somebody's vehicle these days. They just scare it out of them. I know. I don't think they were educated. We did get consent. We threatened them to get enough to search it. Yeah, we told them we'll arrest them if we just did another search. Take everybody to jail. <laughs> Horrible, huh? What's gonna happen when we get pulled over? Huh? Yeah. In your red truck? Yeah, my red truck. He got mad because he was honking. I know, <laughs> dang. It's alright, Sergeant, it's just a horn, man. They were just telling you to chinga tu madre. That's what that, that's what that horn means. That means the community doesn't like you around here. That means chinga tu madre, cabrón. You got that? That's what he said. Just in case you missed it. <laughs> and the sergeant should have just left us alone and we would have left him alone. Huh? He made himself part of this cop walk. <laughs> wow. He presented himself so well when he came up. Huh? How are you doing, gentlemen? Oh. You need to step back 10 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he yells at these guys 10 feet. 10 feet or nothing! Uh, they're not holding cameras, so they're okay. Hey, make sure they don't walk in the street, man. You're gonna get them killed. Damn, horrible. <laughs> you could have just guided them through. <laughs> Damn. Now they're making it unsafe for citizens to walk on the sidewalk around here. This is a misrepresentation of LEPD, isn't it? I think there's better cops out there. If you don't um, let them search your vehicle, it'll tow it. Dang. Love the lap tape, son. Checking out his muscles. Holy crap. I didn't know it was that kind of party. Oh, oh. Citizen's arrest, citizen's arrest. Kind of dogging on the whole way. Oh no. Just a citizen. You guys are shitty, did you hear them? <laughs> you guys are shitty! Shitty me! 
Shitty V. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look at all of you.